All right, so if you've been a fan of my channel for a long time, back when Fortnite just came out, I used to do some live commentaries. And for the amount of subscribers I had back then, those were quite popular. And in those live commentaries, I used to tell stories sometimes about my personal life or some experiences like that. So I thought I would do that again, but a lot of the feedback I had back in the day is that I would stop talking because of things happening in the game. So for example, I was telling a story and then someone would engage in a 1v1 fight with me in the match and I would get sidetracked, so to speak. So a lot of people wanted me to just put gameplay in the background and not do the story live. So I'm gonna try that. So I actually just played a match this morning. I was doing my challenge guide and I played the whole match out. So I'm gonna use that as the background footage, but I think I'm gonna make this a series. We'll call it something like Tabor's story time or something like that, Tabor's fireside chats, I don't know. But I do have a great story for you that just happened to me the other day. So I thought I'd pass this along. I tweeted about it when it happened, but I didn't mention it in any videos. So let me give you some background information. First of all, I do have multiple jobs. I work at a hospital and I also of course do YouTube and I'm also a farmer. But I mentioned the hospital bit because every year they do what's called a wellness screening for their employees. So if you have basically good health, i.e. you don't smoke, you have good cholesterol, good blood pressure, good BMI, body mass index, all that stuff, then you basically get more money on your paycheck. Well, anyway, part of this wellness screening includes a blood draw, and that, of course, is to check all those levels that I just mentioned, the cholesterol and all that stuff. So I'll be straightforward here. I am a sissy Barbie girl when it comes to anything needles. I could poke someone with a needle, but me receiving, a, for example, blood draw, not gonna happen. I absolutely hate it, and it's always been like that. I remember when I got viciously attacked by yellow jackets, those are bees, when I was young. My brother actually kicked a beehive, and then he ran, and I'll have some good stories about my brother, so stay tuned for those. But I got stung multiple times and almost died, and they had to do a blood draw to see if I was allergic, and when they shoved that needle into my arm, I think I was like eight or 10 years old, I just had like a knee-jerk reaction that I kicked the crap out of the nurse. My foot just boop right into her chest and I was mortified as a little kid. But it's always been like that. I get petrified of shots, blood draws, anything needle related. I got both COVID vaccines and I was a sissy for those as well. So every time I get my blood drawn, it's just panic central. But I've never really had any issue with it. I just get, you know, nervous, scared. And I have it done and it's all over, nothing to worry about. So this time, my wife also works at the hospital, so we went together to this wellness screening. And of course, they took our blood pressure, they took all our weight and all that stuff. And then it was time for the blood draw. So I said to my wife, will you go back there and hold my hand with me? And she said, heck no, she's not going back. So she went back first and she got everything done and she came back out and then it was my turn. And as we were passing each other, I said, did you warn her that I'm a sissy? And she says, yep, sure did. So I go back there and the girl's trying to chat it up with me. She's an older lady. She said she's been doing this for 30 plus years and don't worry about it. And I said, well, I'm not really worried about it. I just get a little, I don't know, scared from the needles. And she said, there's nothing to be scared about. I do this all the time. Don't worry. And so she's trying to chat it up with me. And she sits me down in the chair. And normally when I get a blood draw, sometimes they lay me down because they don't know what's going to happen. And sometimes they even give me grape juice. Can you imagine this? A grown man getting grape juice because I'm such a sissy. But none of that happened this time. She just sat me in a chair and she started talking to me and I started talking about the fair and other things like that. And she starts putting the tourniquet around and just chatting it up ideally. But then another nurse walks in. She asks the girl who's tending to me a few questions about another patient. And I think this is what triggered it for me because now they're talking back and forth and she's still continuing to prep. She starts wiping my veins to prep for the blood draw. And in the meantime, she's not looking at me or my arm. She's literally talking to this other nurse. And for some reason that kind of triggered me to be super anxious. So I'm sitting there and when I get nervous, I kind of tap my leg back and forth and she looks at me doing that. And she just says, well, you need to calm down a little bit. Just hold still, deep breaths. And meanwhile, she's still conversing with this other nurse. And then she says, quick poke. So she pokes me and I'm not gonna lie, it hurt a little bit. So I've had my blood drawn in the past, like I said, and I really haven't had any issues, just the getting there and actually sitting down to do it. But this time it kind of stung just a little bit, almost like getting stung by a bee. And in the meantime, she's still conversing with this nurse. And like I said, I think that's what triggered me. So I'm just sitting there waiting for this to be over and I can just feel the blood draining. She must have taken like five vials. And I swear the last time I had my blood drawn, it was like 
10 seconds and then it was over. They took like one or two vials, but she just kept replacing, replacing. And she said, I'm almost done. You're doing great. I'm almost done. Kept replacing. I feel it. I feel it draining from my body. It was just crazy, this feeling. And meanwhile, she's still talking to this lady. I was just thinking, please go away. Please go away. Let her focus on drawing my blood. So then she says she's done and she gives me a little gauze and she says, put some pressure here. So I'm fine and dandy. Everything's fine. And I start putting pressure on it. And then she turns around to put the blood, I don't know, wherever she puts it, in the refrigerator or what have you. And she looks back and she says, are you okay? And meanwhile, again, I was feeling fine. I was just holding pressure there. And then I saw her kind of lean down and look under my hat. I had a hat on and she kind of looked under my bill and she said, hey, are you okay? And I'm thinking, why is she asking me that twice? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. And then right then and there, I don't know what happened. I've never had this happen before, but all of a sudden my sight got like super bright. It was almost like an angel was in front of me. That's how I can describe it. It was like a bunch of flashing white lights. And then my hearing just went whoop, no hearing. It was like I was underwater. And I heard her say again, are you okay? And I'm thinking, what is going on here? And then all of a sudden, I'm just wet. Like I just got out of a pool. I started sweating profusely. I couldn't hear, I couldn't see. And she said, hey, it looks like you're gonna go. It looks like you're gonna go. And I was thinking, what does that mean? I'm gonna go. She said, I'll be right here to catch you. I'll catch you. And I'm thinking, what is going on? I can't see, I can't hear. I'm sweating, I'm dripping in sweat. And then all of a sudden, boom, I'm back up. And apparently I had passed out. Can you believe that? Never have I had that happen before. And this nurse, she had no idea it was gonna happen. And she said, hey, next time you come in, just tell me you pass out so we can lay you down. Because if I don't catch you, you're gonna go face planting on the hard concrete floor. And I said, I have never passed out before. I don't know what happened, but I literally woke back up and I'm just drenched in sweat. I lifted my arm up, the whole table was saturated. It was like I peed my pants everywhere. And it wasn't pee, of course, it was sweat but I have never had this happen before. And meanwhile, I must have been back there for at least 15 minutes, whereas it took my wife like three minutes at most. And so she must have been getting nervous because she was talking to an older lady out there and she said, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I bet my husband passed out. There's no way he should be back there that long. And so I'm pale as a ghost and I can't even stand up. So she makes me sit back there a long time. She's like deep breaths. this happens to everyone. It's just that your blood pressure dipped too low and then you pass out. But I mean, I was traumatized. The fact that I couldn't hear, couldn't see, and just started sweating profusely, I've never had that feeling in my life, and it was horrible. If that's how you feel before you pass out, I don't wish that upon anybody. So then I come back out in the waiting room. My wife is just laughing hysterically. I'm pale as a ghost. I could barely walk. And the nurse is like, yep, he passed out. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I posted this on Twitter, and you'd be surprised at how many people this happens to. Like I said, I am a sissy with needles, but never have I passed out. I've had hundreds of blood draws in my life, and this is the first time. So now I'm mortified. I'm petrified of going back. If this happens again, I don't want it to happen again, so I don't want to get another blood draw, but I eventually am going to have to get another one. We do this every single year, so hopefully this doesn't happen again, but I'm going to have to lay down next time I get my blood drawn. So there's the story. That's me being a baby when it comes to getting a blood draw first time in my life and I was mortified. So there you go, there's episode one of Storytime with Tabor Hill. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or if you want more. I actually had an idea about this. I was gonna illustrate the stories as I tell them, but that would take a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. I'm not the best drawer, but I think it would be hilarious if I literally illustrated the stories with my own drawings. But right now we're just using gameplay. Maybe I'll use some nostalgic gameplay in the future or maybe even a different game. Let me know what you guys think or what you want to see in the background as I tell my stories. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.